this uh, small documentary that you will see now is about the use of charcoal for the improvement of soils in uh, India. He is specifically, we are in South India, in Oroville, and this place is called Pedalgam. It was originally a total devastated land. And the charcoal has proved to be a very good amendment for regenerating such destroyed and denuded soils. Uh, why charcoal? Actually, why is this uh, charcoal so uh, interesting? Charcoal is interesting for the reason that it can store humidity. It has a huge internal surface matter. So, uh, as you can see, the charcoal has uh, many, many small pores. That means it has a huge internal surface. In fact, one gram of charcoal one gram of charcoal could have an uh, internal surface of 500 square meters that means if you would unfold it and put it out somewhere it would have a surface of 500 square meters I don't know if this one has 500 square meters but I'm saying it can have as much as 500 square meters uh, internal surface so it can store it can hold a lot of moisture it is like uh, a sponge in a certain way, you could compare it to a sponge. It can also store ions, nutrients that are released by the decomposition of the organic matter in the soil. So when it is holding moisture and when it is holding nutrients, it becomes a niche for bacteria. This holes, these pores are big enough for many bacteria to live in this mainly mycorrhiza and other bacteria will find an ideal housing in this charcoal and so will help to sustain the fertility of the soil over a long period of time. There is of course the main problem is what will the farmer use for making charcoal because people have already to walk many miles to find uh, a little bit of firewood for cooking their food so why should we talk about uh, charcoal. Of course, uh, charcoal, however useful it may be for improving soil fertility and for maintaining soil fertility, for building a sustainable soil fertility, however useful it may be, it will maybe not spread so fast because there is just a lack of biomass, of woody biomass to make charcoal. There could be some solutions. One solution which I'm thinking of is the rice husk and rice growing areas. Uh, there is sometimes still a rice husk available which could easily be charred. Uh, it doesn't burn, you fire it, it doesn't burn, it becomes charcoal. Another thing would be certain noxious weeds like lantana, rupatorium, uh, ipomea carnea which grows everywhere and is considered a nuisance so that could be a woody type of biomass suitable for charring. There is however a possibility for a farmer to establish some woody biomass on his own farm in a small plot. There are certain trees like for instance in this case here the Australian acacia which on 10 square meters can produce as you can see an enormous amount of biomass just from seeds thrown on the ground and the litter will improve the soil also and uh, it produces so many seeds even if you cut them there are always new ones everywhere there are new ones small ones in the shade that will come up afterwards so this is a very good source and there are other types of trees uh, i'm thinking also about maybe other types of bamboo like bamboos of vulgaris which can easily grow and produce enormous amount of biomass in a small corner and that would allow a farmer to uh, produce biomass in a corner of his field or in a corner of his farm to make charcoal to improve his own fertility mm -hmm. and I'm sure it will pay off in the long run to set aside 10 square meters for uh, improving the rest of his farm. So here you see a small plot of various types of bamboos they are planted in a waterlogged area. Uh, of course, now you can <laughs> the, 
condition in which they are is, uh, because of the cyclone that we had so they are mostly flattened but anyway it can give you at least an idea that in a uh, unusable spot you can grow bamboo a lot of biomass woody biomass to make charcoal The easiest way to make charcoal is just to collect some uh, branches. This could be branches from Prosopis juliflora, which the main trunk is used for making commercial charcoal. But there's plenty of side branches, very tawny. If you can collect them and pile them up, just fire it. And throw either water on it afterwards, or throw sand or earth. And uh, if you do that, just before the ash gets formed, you will get charcoal. So now it burns very vigorously and the flames are coming up very much. Everything will be burnt but before it makes ash, before it makes ash we will pour water. So we have to observe the flames. Now the flames are at maximum. After some time they will go down. And that's the time <coughs> where we will put the water. Charcoal. This is inside, not fully burned. Get the charcoal. Hmm. 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 Hmm.